Additional is a plus size store here. <clears throat> they go up to size 4X. Mm, what are you going to do in a couple of months? I know for sure my underwear is big, but that looks just like the black version of the tent that Tana and Jake rented for their wedding. That's huge. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now in today's video, the day has come. Uh, originally, I was getting a lot of requests to react to Chantel, to look into Chantel. I've known who Chantel was for a long time, but for the time when I was first starting to give my opinions and commentary on Amberlynn Reed, she seemed as though she was trying. Since then, she has joined the fat acceptance body positivity movement and is spewing a lot of misinformation and looking really crazy online to the point that she threatened a couple of my YouTube friends and of course went on a whole cancel Charlie Gold campaign attacking life by Jen as well. I have a video coming out it will be either Wednesday or Thursday where I'll give more of my thoughts about that and where I also took on Biggest Mikey's challenge so you definitely have that video coming along as well but let's get right into the video. <sighs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> Uh, BB's making something called cassava, and this is a meal from his home, which is Senegal and in Africa. So this is what cassava leaves look like. Um, in French, it's feuille, feuille de manioc, and it's kind of like spinach, but not really. The leaves are kind of bitter, so you need some flavors to offset that. Um, one is used that is used is usually something smoked, usually smoked fish, but. I don't really like fish, smoked fish, so we're going to add turkey drumsticks also you can use. Um, so we're going to cook this first and then take the meat off. Another staple used in the sauce is red what? palm oil and Ooh, crushed hand. peanuts. Whoa, crushed peanuts. Imagine if that fell. So we're going to... Uh, if that fell, I would have paid to see her pick it up. Do some of the cooking process, and then when it's finished, this is like one of my favorites. I'm so excited to eat this. Yum. Turkey's going in the oven. Two hours later. Well, um, well, oh, uh, okay. I appreciate BB cooking. Uh, and all those cords? Um, Isn't that a fire hazard? Like, what? Not a plan? Yeah. Go off, BB. Anyway, um, uh, say something. So, I'm gonna eat this. I just woke up from a nap, I fell asleep. Long day, I'll explain while I'm eating, kind of. But, oh my gosh. It's still going to be really good. It's probably it really look. good. Well, it kind of looks like sag paneer, the uh, Indian dish, but let's eat. Let's eat. That's probably so good. Oh, absolutely not. I wish Rio would. Absolutely. No, no. Here. Hey guys, I just got in a fight with BB Jeans. Not a fight, but a little tiff, I guess. <laughs> Stop pouting over there. Because <laughs> she wants to be up on the table here every time I'm, in, I'm at here, at this table. So I said, no, I'm eating this stuff. I can just see her tail going in it. So I said, like 10 seconds ago? I went to pick her up and she never does this, but she was pissed. So I went to pick her up and she went, bam! <laughs> You know what, buddy? Don't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> All right, guys. Mm. So this is not going to be a very. Uh, this is going to be a riveting video. Underwear haul and uh, additional. Oh, Chantel, hauls. you don't wear a bra either. Underwear. I don't wear a bra for and most of my videos, but you is. can't see that. Result. She has it on full yeah. display. Not you too, Sam. Oh, that looks good. 
So for those who don't know I'm Haitian, that actually looks like a Haitian dish we have called um, legume. I don't know how to describe it in English, but it's really good. So when I see dishes like that, I automatically assume it's really good. I haven't had it in a really long time. I miss it. So this is what it looks like. And um, very fattening, but it's so like good. Baby crap, but it's not. It's it tastes so good, amazing, probably. okay? It really does taste amazing. Um, like, it's so delicious. Um, I, of course, like to put... Brags, a bit of Bragg's and some Sriracha. Hmm. So, you just... So I wanted to... Oh, no, Sam! Get down. Get down, Sam. I thought hey. she... She can't close the door? <laughs> you're beezing! You're beezing. I mean, your cat is cute, but... No. No. Sam. Do you not have the energy to get up? Nothing new here. Get down, Sam. Sam. Come on. You know, she's already out of breath just sitting here talking, so the energy it would take her to get up to just take the cat down, she probably doesn't want to do. Because she probably just caught her breath. Yeah, this stuff is like ketchup here. Oh. I got my drinks and um, let's crack it open. Um, so yeah, so I there's missing a few steps in the uh, recording process for this. I wasn't planning on doing like I I fell asleep. I was so cozy and I was reading and when I'm reading and I'm cozy, I just that's why like sometimes I don't want to read because. It always makes me so cozy and like that tired. To me too. I don't know. I just fall asleep. That's why I sit so, up when I read. Um, but I could really yeah. So kind of mix it all around. So underneath is some jasmine rice. I love jasmine so rice. Here's a big chunk of the smoked turkey. Let's give you a beauty bite. Uh, no, Ooh. thank you. I'm trying to lose weight. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> So, kind of an impromptu video because I didn't have one planned for today. I didn't have one planned until Monday because this is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. <clears throat> and tomorrow... That's the next video I'm reacting to. I have uh, BB and I are going to my uncle's for Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Um, so, I wasn't going to do a video until Monday. Monday is Thanksgiving technically, but we're celebrating Sunday. That was a big spoonful. So That's a big spoon. I'm going to try not to eat this too fast because this is so delicious. I can never finish a thought. <laughs> I've noticed. Or stick to a plan. BB was making this today. So I'm like, I wanted to show them. So this is why I'm doing this video. <clears throat> but where's BB? A lot of you OG foodie beauties will know that I've done this before a while back. Yes. So if you're new here, thank you so much for being here and subscribing. I know she mentioned before BB works at night, so he could have made this and run off to work. I'm guessing, but I can't imagine my man cooking for me and me taking a plate to go sit and record a video. But I feel like this is common. For some reason, this is just my perspective, I feel like they don't eat together often. I feel like they don't spend much time together often. It's mostly spent online. This is why she puts so much value behind it because she has not a lot going on in her real life and she's unhappy. I feel like that's why she's so upset and spiraling half the time. Girl, did you come out with the bib merch yet? You should be the first Need customer. Watch out. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh my gosh. 
love this so much. Oh, we got it. Shut <laughs> up. I'm excited about the napkins. All right, guys. I don't get it. So this is what I got at Additionnel. Additionnel is a plus size store here. <clears throat> they go up to size 4X. Mm, what are you going to do in a couple of months? Now Pennington's goes up to size 6X, I think. You're safe there. Good choice. I always thought Edition L did too, but that would seem to be the biggest size I could find. So I got a 4X shirt. And this is just something to wear tomorrow. It's like, you can't really see, but it has like a shine to it. And it has like a little pattern in the shine. I mean, the material looks the back cute. here has like a little open back part. So, oh, I saw this. So this is the is outfit I saw on hat. Twitter. So I'm gonna wear this with some pants. I'm not sure what pants yet. Um, and, and some nice boots you can't zip up. Jewelry and some. I'm gonna do my makeup and hair nice, so I'm gonna wear that. Because we saw that you couldn't zip up those boots. The rest of the items are fat acceptance, body positivity. I can never have too many. That's what it gets you. Socks and underwear. So. I love black socks too, though. Just some like ankle socks. And underwear. I <laughs> love having Oh, underwear. yeah, that's what I. These are because mm. I don't have enough like really big, comfy underwear. Like a lot of them are like not high briefs. So I hate that they like roll down when I'm like walking. So. I got just a couple pairs of black. I got two pairs like this. <laughs> uh -uh. Showing you my under. Honestly, I know Chantel is big, but I feel like that's really big, even for her. And I could be misjudging her size, obviously, because she would know what her underwear size is, but that's really big. I feel like my underwear is big as well. Obviously, I'm obese. I'm working on it, but... I know for sure my underwear is big, but that looks just like the black version of the tent that Tana and Jake rented for their wedding. That's huge. That is not positive. That looks ridiculous. That's why I don't want any parts of that movement. If that's what that gets me, underwear that resembles that. The underwear is almost the same size of the sweater she was holding up. That's disgusting. Polka dot underwear. Oh, Chantel. All 4X. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. To cover my big booty. Gray. Big body. Girl, it has nothing to do with the butt. And another pair of the black, so. And why would you showcase this? So that's it. That's my haul. <laughs> Pretty exciting, eh? No. Huh. It's still a haul. If you buy something, it's a haul. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat some spinach after this. I refuse. I refuse. Ugh. I wish you guys could come over for dinner and try this. <laughs> mm. Mm. So I have some good news. Just send BB. I ain't going over there. Regarding the surgery? Unless you make me. Um... I am going to just like, I think when I said I don't, I want to keep my personal life off of camera, I pretty much just want to do whatever the hell I want on my channel and you should, on top of that, I more specifically, when I really gave it some thought, I'm like, I don't want to keep you guys totally out of the loop. I don't mind sharing some things, but some things I think I've shared too much. Um, and 
my weight. Like, I don't want... This is the problem. This is really what it comes down to, and this is just my perspective and what I've observed. The girl has no one in her personal life that she can constantly go to. Pete's is there temporarily as long as he's benefiting. That's my opinion. As long as he's bored and he's benefiting... Pete's will be there. BB could care less. I don't know what happened to the other girl that was her friend. She probably has a life of her own. So that's what she puts so much weight on this. That's why she goes back and forth. I don't want to share this. I want to share this. But really in her real life, she doesn't have anyone to share it with. Of course she has to share it with her audience. She doesn't have anyone in her real life that really truly cares. Or has the time. I just want to be a fat person on the internet without it being about my weight. You know, so... You're succeeding. That I'm not going to talk about. And I appreciate no comments about my weight, if possible. Too late. Please and thank you. <laughs> but my surgery, yes. So I have some good news regarding that. No, that's good. I got a call back. I'll put a link to my previous videos if you're out of the loop, but I got a call back from the nurse. The one that was going to do my surgery on October 3rd was not my my own original doctor. My doctor was on a leave. And I love my doctor. So I was really bummed. She's just so, like, she was so con more confident. Never talked about my weight. Um, oh, no wonder you like Treated me with, like, respect and, like, dignity and everything, you know, as, like, a bigger person and stuff. I just... You know, I Which just most really, doctors she's do. She's just so respectful and nice. So, um, he also put cubes of beef. So, I got a voicemail because I was sleeping when she called in the morning. And first thing she did, like I had left her voicemail venting my frustrations about this the cancellation, and. You know, all this and that. And asking when it would be rescheduled. So she left me a message. First first thing she said was she apologized. And said, I'm so sorry this happened to you. Um, we will reschedule your surgery as soon as possible. So I'll be getting a call from so-and-so at the booking department. I don't know when. She didn't say when. but um, Can you add background music or something? She said, with your doctor... Oh. Not the one that was going to do it October 3rd. So I'm so elated. Like, I can't tell you. Because if I would have known, she was on a personal leave. If I would have known that she would be back, I would have waited anyway. Because I want my doctor, you know? Nothing really against this one. It's just that I have a rapport with this one. I've been seeing her for years. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could relate, but I need a doctor that keeps it honest with me, too. Mm-mm. I gotta blow my nose. Oh, that's awesome. If my weight is a problem, talk about it. So. <clears throat> Keep it real. So that's really, really good news. That, that honestly, like, just makes up for it for me. Because, <laughs> you know, like. At Great. first, I, I think I was so much in shock when I was leaving, like, like and my family was in shock as we were leaving the hospital, and that it was just, like, it's finally, it had sunk in, the, like, the subsequent days. Oh, yeah. I never said this publicly. I forgot I don't really talk about Chantel at all, so I think um, it's true. This is just my opinion. I think she was really at the hospital, and she was scheduled I don't necessarily believe the reason it was scheduled, but we'll never know. She knows the truth. The only thing that caught my eye in that video, and uh, me and Mike, Michael B. Petty and I, we, we talked about it in a live stream, like not our live stream, someone else's live stream, that it was odd when she was at, I think, Red Lobster or something, and she mentioned on camera she's only having one biscuit. Since the last couple of weeks, when has Chantal cared about the amount of food she's eating? So the fact that she pointed out in the video she's only going to have one biscuit, that's all. One of two things. Either the cancellation was weight-related or health-related, or because she was with her family. I think she's lying to her family about her health and how she eats normally. 
since her family was there, that's what I'm thinking. Why would she mention on camera as she's filming she's only having one? Either it was to keep up with whatever lies she's telling her family about her eating habits or the surgery was canceled because of health related issues. I hope that makes sense. I hope someone caught that the way I caught it because that's odd for her to do that. And then I became this is equivalent to 20 biscuits. Why would she care to eat just and one? The message, you know? And the way she treated that was really, that nurse is so nice. Like, so yeah, so that's good news to me. So I'll let you guys know. <clears throat> well, that's good. She is. should have her surgery. It's important. But you should wear a bra if you're going to show that much. She said to also ask the book of your chest, girl. girl. That I would like to be the first person, if possible. Especially since like mine was canceled. But we'll see if they can, you know. <laughs> so. That's that. Well, I guess this is body positiv positivity. Be braless. Do your thing. Not for me, but do your thing. So tomorrow's Thanksgiving, like we're celebrating Thanksgiving. Why does she look around like that? uncle's making turkey, <clears throat> a roast. BB is off, so we are going to go together. Are you happy? You seem upset. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> that sounded so fake. Yes, yes. No, no. I'm not gonna lie, if that was Haitian food, I would have probably cleaned the plate too. My plate just wouldn't have been as big, but Haitian food, I cleaned the plate. Past the ace. Been playing that like. It's been a tradition in the family, like, for generations. Like. Why does the camera move? Um. Everyone gets a kick out of the way BB shuffles cards. Is he really good, or...? He's like a pro card shuffler. Oh. I'll have to get him to... I'll have to get him to show you one day. Girl, mm -hmm. get him on camera if you, Well, actually, he's in the next video. He's in the thumbnail. Looks like you were about to swallow him. That was so good. I tried to eat slower, but man... I haven't seen you try to eat slow in a long time. It gives me, like, a sense of urgency. Or ever. But it was also just too good. <laughs> that bottle of water is still there. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, that's the video for today. So I really thank you for watching. And I'll see you Monday. Bye, guys. To my Canadian friends, have a very happy Oh, that's sweet. I actually like that. Well, that's the video. Will I react to every foodie beauty video? No, only because there's a lot of food she eats that are trigger foods for me. But if I notice from the thumbnail what she's eating is not a trigger food for me, then I don't mind reacting to her because I do watch her videos. I just watch them either through Yaba or one vlog away. I, I believe that's their channel name. I'll link them below. But you know, I'm going to watch her videos regardless. It's just either going to be through reaction channels or just look at her community tab and see if she's talking about me for the day. Or Biggest Mikey. Or Callie. Or Yabba. But yeah, I'll be reacting to the next one right after this where it looks as though she's holding BB hostage. But you never know. They might actually be a happy couple. We'll see. I don't think I've seen... No, I've, I've heard him talk once. Or twice. That one video that I think she deleted. I think she was getting a lot of hate for it or people were attacking BB. I don't really know the story behind that but from my understanding she took it down but obviously I was able to watch it through a different channel so we'll see how that looks because I'm excited to see what a Canadian Thanksgiving looks like until next time later guys